How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some chilling images. From a creepy photo of a monk seen near an Irish lighthouse, to a chilling face photographed in a mirror. We take a look at these creepy photos that can't be explained. But before we get into it, remember to hit that subscribe button for more creepy content just like this. This photo is said to have been taken in 2008 outside a cottage at the Blackhead Lighthouse in County Antrim, Northern Ireland. The lady seen on the right wearing the white top was one of five people staying at the cottage along with the person who took this photo. At the time the photo was taken, neither person noticed the shadowy monk-like figure standing to the left. The lady in the photo even claimed that when she went back into the cottage, everyone except herself and the photographer were still inside. Whoever the mysterious figure was, it wasn't one of them. The photo was taken after 11pm, so it's unlikely to be a walker, and even if it was, they would probably have been carrying a torch. The Blackhead Lighthouse was first lit in 1902 and marks the very northern end of Belfast Lock, where it opens up into the northern channel that separates Northern Ireland and Scotland. At one time, the lighthouse even shone its beam over the Titanic as it left the shipyard in Belfast. Several people have suggested that the dark figure may not be a monk at all, but rather the ghost of a former lighthouse attendant dressed in a long winter coat. Whoever the figure is, it sure makes for a very creepy photo, an eerie brush with the supernatural that this woman won't soon forget. This chilling photo was taken during a girl's night out at an unknown bar. Above the woman on the right, there appears to be a disembodied head floating in mid-air. If you look closely, you can see that the head doesn't appear to be attached to a neck at all, and there's no shoulder or arm either. The head has sinister glowing yellow eyes, and there also appears to be a white hazy mist swirling around it. If this is a true photo of a ghost, it would have to be one of the clearest ever captured. While it's possible that the head simply belongs to a man who turned just as the photo was taken, the girls claim that no one else was around at the time. What makes the whole story even creepier is that a very similar photo was captured by another group of girls who were out on the town in a completely different location. Just by the girl on the left, an eerily similar head can be seen. Once again, it appears to be floating and it even has the same glowing yellow eyes. What do you think? Is this really the disembodied head of a ghost? Or could it just be a creepy stalker who enjoys photobombing women? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. At first, this photo seems to have captured little more than a happy gathering of friends. However, when it was posted to Facebook, they began to notice something rather unsettling. In the far right of the picture, there's a person peeping through the doorway that nobody recognises. Everyone at the party were friends and they all knew each other by their full names. None of them recalled seeing the mysterious person during the night. Some have speculated that the reason no one remembers seeing the person is that they may have actually been a ghost. The pale figure seems to have glowing beady eyes and he certainly doesn't look the same as everyone else in the photo. If the party goer's story is true, then it's unlikely that the figure was a photo bombing prankster, as someone would have surely noticed him during the night. What do you think? Is it actually a ghost or is there a simpler explanation? This creepy photo was sent to us by a Facebook user from Connecticut. She claims that she took the picture in July 2017 just before leaving to attend a wedding. She was wearing her mother's dress and wanted to send her a photo to show how it fit. After the wedding, she planned to meet a friend at a fast food restaurant, and while she was waiting, decided to flip through the photos that she had taken earlier that day. That's when she noticed what appears to be some sort of ghoulish face in the mirror behind her. It shocked her so much, she started to cry and even found it difficult to speak. She was so spooked by the image that she didn't want to go home. Eventually, she plucked up the courage and decided to return home to try and recreate the image. Still dressed in her wedding attire, she posed for several more photos in the exact same place she had taken the first photo. Each time, it was obvious that the mirror behind her was just showing her hair. The poster said that she had lived with her son in the same condo for three years. 
The week before they moved in, the man next door was found dead and his body wasn't discovered for a week. Ever since, the two of them have noticed some very strange things happening on the upstairs floor of their condo. The bathroom water mysteriously turns on by itself. The shower curtain has continually been found open when they're both certain it was closed. And they've both felt an eerie presence in the bathroom while they've been showering. Is it possible that this Facebook user has actually captured the ghost of her former next door neighbor? If so, could it also be him that's responsible for the strange occurrences on the upstairs floor? There's almost no information available about this photo online. While it's possible it's just a prank, there are a few things that tend to suggest otherwise. Firstly, the eerie figure dressed in white appears to have no face. Its white robes too seem rather unusual. They're wispy and ghost-like and even seem to be flowing between the rocks and almost touching the water. If it was just a prank, would anyone really go to the trouble of wearing such a long robe? Surely it'd be far too dangerous to be perched out on those rocks. With little information to go by, it's difficult to comment further. However, one thing is for certain, real or fake, this is a very creepy photo. The Reddit user who posted this photo online claims that this photo was taken while he was out walking through the woods with his friends in Croatia. The area was unusually misty and they decided to stop and pose for some photos to post on social media. It wasn't until the group had returned home and uploaded the images that someone pointed out there was a mysterious dark figure standing in the background. The Reddit user claims that the mysterious figure didn't appear in any of the other photos they took that day and no one could remember seeing anyone else in the woods. While it could have easily have been hoaxed, it's still a very creepy photo. Friends out walking in the misty woods, stalked by a mysterious figure, it's the stuff slasher films are made of. One of the creepiest things about this photo is that there's very little information available about it. No one seems to know where it was taken or who the people posing actually are. It appears to show a large group of priests and bishops, however the bizarre way their eyes are glowing could suggest otherwise. If you look at the figure in the second row, four from the right, he looks as though he's wearing some sort of bizarre helmet. It's completely covering his face similar to that of a knight, with just enough space for his glowing eyes to shine through. His helmet also looks as though it has a large cross on the top, however it's possible that the person behind him is holding a long staff. Without further information, it's difficult to comment further on this photo. Who are these men and what exactly are they doing? Whatever the answer is, one thing's for certain. It really does evoke feelings of uneasiness that are only exacerbated by its mystery. This creepy photo was sent to us by Madeline via Facebook. She's the one seen in the middle alongside her mother and brother. In 2011, they were on a holiday in Egypt and decided to get a picture to remember the occasion. After the photo was taken, they went to dinner, and it wasn't until some time later that they realized the camera had actually captured something rather strange. As you can see, Madeline has her right hand above her brother's head giving him bunny ears, yet there's another mysterious hand around his shoulder. It can't be his mother's hand either, as her arm would have been far too long. Madeline claims that the ghostly face seen alongside her brother's head looks very similar to her stepfather who passed away in 2008. According to her, her brother and stepfather were best friends and she says that it really looks like my stepdad is giving my bro a hug. What do you think? Could this mysterious figure seen in the photo really be Madeline's stepfather? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at a terrifying ghost photo taken at a wedding, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on channel notifications. That way you'll get all our updates from our latest content. This creepy photo was posted online by a man who claims it was taken at his daughter's wedding reception at a hotel in Espanola, New Mexico on the 15th of July 2006. The photo has captured a strange swirling mist that appears to be forming the shape of a human. 
It even looks as though it's reaching for something on the table, possibly one of the bottles. Some think it's little more than cigar or cigarette smoke swirling through the air, while others have suggested that it might actually be the ghost of someone who knew the bride and groom, one who simply couldn't resist partaking in the festivities of this momentous occasion. If you want more scary photos just like these ones, check out that playlist right there. Leave us a comment down below letting us know what you thought of these. Hit that thumbs up button as well. And that's it for me, I'll see you all next time. 